News 3, the Old Dominion Bull Court Press. Well, the countdown to the beginning of college basketball season now at days, 12 days to be exact. And we thank you for making the Old Dominion Full Court Press part of your Wednesday night. Tonight, we're catching up with a former Monarch coach who is back on campus and seeing how a team full of new faces is meshing with that November 7th opener fast approaching. Earlier this week, Jeff Jones and company holding their annual media day to get everybody ready for the upcoming campaign. There may be less than two weeks until that first regular season game, but still plenty of things to work on from Jones and the coach's perspective. The Monarchs also making very clear the ninth place Sunbelt prediction, something that they do not really even think about. One thing is for sure, these players ready to take on some players in different colored jerseys, but Jones, eh, not quite yet. I think the coaching staff is, is looking at that chest checklist and uh, saying, okay, we need to we, we need to get some work in. We need to, you know, check off a, a bunch of different items before we're ready to play. We've been putting in a lot of work, uh, building a lot of chemistry, and we can't wait to show what we got and show the talent that we have. I think the level of preparation is getting more intense. Uh, guys are in the gym a lot, and everybody's excited. You can see the jitters. Old Dominion will have its final tune-up with an exhibition game against Christopher Newport one week from tonight. Well, in the age of the transfer portal, teams will have to adjust to more new players and pieces on an annual basis. The Monarchs not immune to this trend. News 3's Zach Staten tells us how this group is gelling together as the season tip-off nears. We're working our way and gelling uh, and coming together as a puzzle. The trend of new faces and new places in college basketball is only getting stronger. I think a lot of teams are seeing this where a lot of guys coming into new programs and such. Old Dominion no stranger this year with seven new names on the roster. Any doubts about chemistry, however, were put to bed quickly. Really might have been a faster speed than what I thought coming in from last year. I thought a whole new group of guys, there'd be a lot of slow, slow jailing, but everybody come together, everyone stays together. The word together almost becoming the theme of the offseason for the Monarchs. They've been with each other on the court. When we get on the court, because now you know what this person like to do, you know what they like to do, what they don't like to do. So when you get there, you could put somebody in a better situation than what they had. And away from it. I'll go back to one person's crib and relax, hang out, talk, have different conversations. Uh, we go bowling. Fittingly enough, hitting the lanes has brought out some friendly competition. Definitely the best bowler on the team. I'm the best bowler on the team. Uh -oh. I might let Trey win a couple times, but I'm really the best bowler on the team. But it's also helped get everyone on the same page. Chemistry started off the court and then it just translated onto the court. Um, Everybody understands everybody's games, and we're just happy and excited to get, get going. Whether returning, transferring in, or arriving on campus for the first time as a freshman, the Monarchs are becoming one. One practice, or bowling pin at a time. When you guys genuinely like your teammates, that, it, that makes it easy. And then you put that, mix it with the basketball and the talent that we have, it's fun. Zach Staten, News 3 Sports. We'll try to get to the bottom of that best bowler thing by the end of the season. Thanks a lot, Zach. Well, Makai Long, Charles Smith, D'Angelo Steins, and Emo Essie and the only players back after seeing significant time last season. The Monarchs look to replace their top four scores, so Monarch fans will definitely learn those new names and faces pretty quickly. Time for a 94-foot conversation with the Monarchs. Oh, we are walking 94 feet here with Tyreek Scott Grayson. Tyreek, you're a Jersey guy. Are you When you go on vacation, are you more of a beach person or are you more of a mountain? No, nah, I'm more of a beach person, definitely. All right, yeah, so you're, you're going to the coast. You're not, you're not, you're yeah, not yeah. doing the cabin in the woods. No, nah, I can't do that. No. All right, I won't survive out there. Now you and me both. <laughs> so who is the uh, funniest guy on the team? We got a lot of main characters on the team. <laughs> I don't know. That's hard to pick. Uh, probably, probably Ben or Makai. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Ben's gotten two votes now. Yeah. That's really interesting. All right. So hey, what's your Halloween candy of choice? You going chocolate? You going fruity? You going, you know, peanuts, coconut? What are you doing? I might go candy corn. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, good for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there are a few out there, I guess. Uh -huh. Hey, you're playing Jeff Jones one on one. Who's winning? Me. Me, for sure. You're yeah. playing to 11. How many points is he getting? He's getting zero points. He's not you're shutting him out. Yeah, he's not touching the ball. Well, I'll have to settle that too. Well, still to come, a former Old Dominion coach back on campus using his skills to raise money for the Monarch Athletic Department. How Blaine Taylor's transition is going. That's coming up right after this. Live from News 3, the Old Dominion Bull Court Press. 
Well, this past May, a familiar face returning to campus. Blaine Taylor preceding Jeff Jones as the Monarchs head coach. And after taking some time to get back on the right track, he's back at Old Dominion, hoping to make a difference not just for the basketball program, but for the all of ODU athletics. Blaine Taylor's journey has come full circle. It's been really fun to reconnect with all the people that I spent time with and had great uh, memories with. That journey, however, not coming without its fair share of bumps. From 2001 to 2013, Taylor, the head coach of Old Dominion men's basketball, amassing the most wins in program history. But it all coming to a screeching halt, fired amid a struggle with alcohol abuse. I put a lot into my career and, uh, you know, it's, it kind of wore me down and I became vulnerable. And so I kind of had to pick myself up by the bootstraps and just really literally day at a time and, and go along. Taylor could have folded, but instead picking himself back up. A big part of it, his support system. I had so many people that were on my side that uh, encouraged me, uh, but it did take time. And I'm just so proud and happy. The life I have now, I could never have imagined having 10 years ago. And that life, back in the silver and blue. After serving at UC Irvine as an assistant coach for four years, the Anteaters prepared to offer him a job as a fundraiser. But in the eyes of the Monarch administration, Taylor could do that just as well here in Norfolk. Coaching before, I was connected at the hip with all the people in the, the fundraising arm. And now I just work side by side with them on a daily basis. And that's the former head coach's latest chapter, a major gifts fundraiser for the Old Dominion Athletic Foundation. Key in a time of transition into a new conference and the ever-changing world of college athletics. What better than a place like Old Dominion? Not everybody from this area went to Old Dominion, a lot did. But we're right here and everybody here feels a part of us. When, when, the, when all of a sudden you hear that crowd go crazy, people want to be a part of it. As for his old stomping grounds at Chartway Arena, Taylor says nobody wants to win more than Jeff Jones and his current group. And going to the games now? It is different to walk in and see somebody else coaching the team and look around at the stands and yet they can't call a technical on me. I can't lose any games. I can't get kicked out. A redemption story before the Monarch's very eyes. Learning from the demons of the past to build a future right where he belongs. How you handle as that comes to you, it really defines you. I mean, where, where, I always say, you know you're growing old when your regrets replace your dreams. Well, if you just live life with a bunch of regrets, you never get to the dreams and the good part. I'm still young at heart, and I still have a lot of dreams. Taylor's been going sober now, going on 10 years. Really good to see him back and doing well. That wraps up tonight's edition of the Old Dominion Full Court Press. If you joined us late, catch the entire program on WTKR.com. I'm Mark Davis. Good night, everybody.